What did I learn? What did I learn? What am I gonna tell them that I learned? It's not hard, really. I kind of learned a lot, so just tell them. This is what I learned this November. This November, it started out like any November where I was raising money for a good cause and I wanted to spread awareness for that same good cause. The goal was $3,000 and I will shave my face. What is wrong with you people? Afraid to look ugliness in the face? Well, here, look at it! thought I would at least reach $2,000 this year again, but hey, there's always next year. But I shaved anyway because something happened in November that changed my perspective about what this month actually means. Like I had all these plans of uh, making more videos and spreading more awareness and doing all these sorts of things to really like get the word spread out as far as possible. But dead smack in the middle of the month, my girlfriend Victoria and her family found out that their beloved uncle did not have much time left. He had already been diagnosed with cancer and he already had other health problems that, that just further complicated his health. Eventually the cancer moved through his body which shortened his months into weeks into days. As a family does, as many of them as possible came together to see him in his final days. Only to their surprise that the day that they went to go visit him would be his last day. It, and it's just funny how the universe works People and families can go months and even years without seeing or speaking to each other. But then the single event happened. There was no planning. There was no uh, say, hey, I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. It was just everybody decided to come together that day. Now, I didn't get the privilege to get to know her uncle as her family had known him for years. As somebody that's loving and kind and warm. But I knew that I wanted to be there for Vittoria and her family in their time of grieving. Any way that they needed me. It's times like these where I truly understand what my role in Victoria's life is. I'm here to serve and protect and provide comfort where needed, any way that it's needed. And honestly, I hope I did a good job of that. For me, I'm not great with death like a lot of people. It only gets me thinking about how little time I actually have on this earth. And what I come to find out over the years is I really do take on the feelings of the people who are grieving, whether it's a death in the family or somebody's coming to me with a situation in their life, I really take on those feelings to sympathize with that person or try to sympathize with that person as much as possible. Which brings me to the mental health effects that something like this has on a person or a family. Think about it, a person's there one day and gone the next. You just start thinking about all the memories that you had with that person. But then you think about how you will never be able to record another memory with that person again. Yes. And that's hard. It takes a toll on somebody. Those are real feelings. That's a person that you love and loved for so long and now they're just gone. But eventually time heals all. So what did I learn this November? Well, I definitely understand a little bit more what a disease like cancer does to a family as a whole. I definitely understand that the grieving process is different for everybody. And now I, and I do understand that people who had a grip with their mental health before are gonna need the support now more than ever of family members to just keep them in a positive mental space. I learned that there is way more that we can all do to raise money and spread awareness about cancer research and mental health support. And I wanna thank everybody who donated this year and in previous years. Every dollar counts, no matter how big of an amount, no matter how small of an amount, it matters. For those who missed the boat on November, it's okay because in my bio all year long uh, until next November, I'm going to link to pages where you can donate for cancer research and mental health support. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to continue to make videos, spreading awareness about cancer research, keep spreading awareness about mental health, my journey through mental health, make videos about how you can work out your brain and, and keep yourself in good mental health, even through the winter months, especially through the winter months. And slowly, I just want to build up to become more of an active member of this community because I don't want families to go through this. And I know it's impossible for that to happen, but I don't want them to feel this type of pain. When somebody passes away, I want families to celebrate the life that they had and not think about the suffering that they were going through at the end of their life. Again, I love, thank, and respect everybody that has shown support and love throughout this whole month. Let's continue to raise money and awareness for this important cause. And my last thing, if you haven't told anybody that you love them yet today, 
please go do that now. They'll appreciate it more than you know.